So today's video, this is probably one of the most important videos I've ever done on this channel. Rather than work at a job that you absolutely hate every day, why not grind and get the job that you want? So for today, I'm going to show you exactly a couple things that can help you get to any job that you want. The first thing is that you're going to want to exert power. You're going to want to show that you are highly qualified before you even open your mouth to sell yourself. In that, you let the image do the talking for you. So let's go through a proper interview or first day at the job outfit. First, you're going to pick a nice fitted suit, gray or navy. Let's go with navy. I like blue. Keep in mind that you're not peacocking for likes on Instagram. It's time to be serious and like I said, exert power. So navy is one of the best ways to go. Next, pick up a solid tie or something serious like a red striped, solid brown or navy. I really like brown, so let's stick with the solid brown tie. It's a little bit more serious. There's less going on. And finally, pick the shoes. You're not using sneakers, you're not using boots, and you're not using loafers. You're going to use lace-ups. And finally, choose the right accessories that is going to add to that image of power that you're trying to show. For example, a good essential accessory to take on your first interview or first day of the job is a nice slim modern briefcase. Something where you can carry a copy of your resume, your laptop, your phone, and, not, and any other important information that you need to carry on that important day. So you're going to be able to carry all that and look amazing on top of it. Take this back from Opperman London. I think this is a perfect example of what I'm talking about. This was their Valance Navy bag and really the beauty is in the details. The leather is full 100% Italian Vincetta leather. The zippers have a beautiful silver nickel finish that add to the elegance of the bag. And finally, the nice, slim and modern design is not bulky or intrusive like those ugly briefcases from the 90s. Instead, this one is going to add to that powerful image. It's going to be like that cherry on top. I'm going to have this Opperman London bag linked down below so you guys can check it out if you don't have a briefcase yet for either work or your first day on the job. And even though it's all handmade in Italy, you're not going to be paying a crazy five-figure sales point on this because Opperman cuts out the middleman and sells directly to you. So I'm going to have them linked below. You're going to get a really high quality bag that's going to do all the talking for you before you even start selling yourself. The next one, be well groomed. The reason why the first two tips out of this video are all about personal image, it's because it's the most important part of a first time interaction, those first few seconds. To give you an example, a new study published by the Journal of Neuroscience showed that the brain immediately determines how trustworthy a face is even before it can fully perceive it. That's how quick our brains are making judgments of other people and you don't even know it. It's subconscious which just goes to the proven fact that we do judge books by their cover and that we do make fast judgments on people. We're talking milliseconds. So stay well groomed. Don't go in with a full beard. If you really like your beard and you don't want to shave it off, at least trim it down and keep it well groomed. Me personally, I would tell you to go with some nice stubble instead, very low, close to the face, or even better, a clean shaven face would probably be the best way to go. And also, I recommend to go get a fresh haircut. This way you can look and be on top of your game. Number three, be the person that your employer wants to hire. What does this mean? This means that instead of you going in there and talking about all your great attributes and how you've always wanted this dream job and it's your dream working at this firm and blah 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 instead show your employer what you can bring to the table that will benefit both him and the company that will make the company better what can you provide that will produce that's what an employer wants to see and you do that by going online you want to research really well the firm you also want to research the position what does it entail? What skills do you need for that position? And what are your daily tasks going to be like? What are they going to ask from you? So when you go in there, you can give them exactly what they want to hear. And this way, you're going to show them that you're the man that they are looking for. And finally, take care of the little details because these also matter. For example, have a properly written resume. While having a good resume probably won't get you hired nowadays, believe it or not, not having one can quickly disqualify you. Or even having one with poorly written grammar 
automatically to the recycle bin. So have a properly written resume and also bring in a copy to your interview. You also want to arrive 15 minutes early, show that you're a punctual man. And another tip is to practice common interview questions. So go online, practice some of those questions. Make sure, like I said already, study the company well. That way you can give well-informed and intelligent answers back. And finally, the best thing you can do is leave a lasting impression. The best way to stand out amongst a sea of interviewees is to leave a memorable impression on your employer. And the best way to do that is again, circle back to tip number one. It's those first few seconds. It's exactly how you look. Believe it or not, your image guys is a very powerful tool and can do way more selling than what your mouth can do. So that's it for me today. I'm gonna have the Opperman bag linked down below so you guys can check it out. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and to our second channel. See you next time.